Okay. Ready, huh? I'm Mike Sanchez. I'm going to show you my playlist. Got to do this quick. Let's go. Musician first. Those are my drums. <laughs> Alright, well. That's where I barbecue everything. Love this thing. You can adjust the full height, any height you want, down low, whatever. So I barbecued. I use that all the time. Oh. My bird butt. Alright, so I got my oils, my vinegars, my hot sauces, all my spices all set up right here. Everything I need and, and then some. Right? Do my deep frying in my little daddy here. A little fried dad. I probably shouldn't say any brand names. I think I cut it in half though, so it's alright. Alright, my pans and stuff. These are all my. Well, not all of them, but a lot of the pictures that I've taken of all the food that I've cooked. Good stuff. All right. Let's see if we can uh, make a seafood cocktail in three minutes. All right. So we got a tomato. And I just fucking dice this up as quickly as possible. I love this way. So fast. Let's get this guy out of the way here. Get those last pieces right there. Let's put that up. Cool. Make some sticks out of those last few pieces and we are good. Alright. Well, boom. Let's get an onion. I don't know if I can do this fast enough, but we're going to try. My onion. need half of this thing. So let's do the old steaks and sticks routine here. I like small pieces of onion. So instant small tiny pieces. And you can just give them a quick break up there. Break them all up. Maybe get them a little smaller. Alright, good. Looking good, eh? Size this jalapeno. Jeez. I like to cut these just like I do a green pepper. Get rid of the ribs just by doing this. Shoom. Boom. Nice clean piece, huh? If you want to put some ribs in there, go ahead and just start cutting. Bam, bam, bam. But we just want mostly flavor, maybe a little heat. I'll throw in a little bit of rib. Just a little bit. Gotta have some kick. Come on. Because this is going to be a Mexican style seafood cocktail. I usually make a shrimp cocktail. But, you know, I want to kick it up a notch here and uh, throw in a little scallops and some uh, crab meat, which just kind of happened by accident last night as I was running around looking for scallops. So we got our fucking jalapenos here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to need them all. Let's try start out with this here. Just cutting it into sticks and then chopping it up. Looking good. Alright, let's get that in there. That looks delicious. Alright, important thing. Main ingredient practically is the lemon. So let's get that in there. And I lost my strainer. Do I have a strainer? Somebody hit my strainer. Love this. Lemon juice. No seeds. Right, this is going to take longer than I had hoped, I think, but let's keep going. I'm going to get some more lemon in there. Full lemon's good. The citrusy and the sweetness, it's going to be kicked up in here. I just might use some agave nectar just to sweeten it up this time. Alright, looks good. How about a little apple cider vinegar? Just a little something to hide back there. Alright, just not even hardly any cumin, just something that in the background, you know, kind of hidden there. Nobody knows it's there. Some Mexican oregano. I bought this in the cheap area, Mexican area. Really good stuff. Goes a long way. And then I just put it in this handy container. All right. So we got that. We got the shrimp. I grilled all the shrimp in the shell, cut them in half the long way, so everybody gets the whole piece. 
full half. Anyway, let's put that in there. It's going to be good. All right, now I boiled up some tomatillos and peeled them, put them in the processor here. That's going to be part. Yeah, try that for now of our mixture. And then, uh, yes, it's not a secret anymore. Good old fashioned ketchup. Surprise! That's the wonderful things that's gonna do. So, I was gonna use sugar, but I do have this agave nectar. Mm. Mm, just a little, just a little. Not too much. And I'm thinking I'm gonna need this other lemon. Also, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going in here. I grilled this corn. All this I prepared last night. So we're gonna get some grilled corn in there. Sweeten, sweeten the deal, if you will. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice golden sweetness. That brown on there is where the flavor is. We all know that. All right, can I just crumble this up? Let's chop her up. I don't want to break up the kernels too much. Let's just try to get it all in there. It's a little rustic. That's all right. The corn is very sweet, so it's just going to add to the sweetness of these lovely grilled scallops that I made. It's turning out bigger than I thought, but I love these because you can break them up into little sections naturally. All right, so you got your little scallop chunks all over the place here. I start to sound like I'm from Brooklyn all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, this feels like more than five minutes. I did clean these. I pulled the little side thing off, whatever, the side hatch. All right, so we got some lovely scallops in there. Uh, crab claw. Oh, break it up, slide this puppy out, or push it out on the other end. Boom, let's get some crab in here. We're going to do some discs. Yes, just like this. Disc, 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 disc. Try not to break it up too much. It might fall apart a little bit in there, but as long as you keep some of its integrity, it's going to be delightful. All right. All right. I forget how much stuff I actually put in this thing. It's not complete without cilantro. I mean, any pico de gallo salsa or anything, any kind of salsa, throw a quick chef and on there. And get it the other way. Alright. We're good. Cilantro. Right, we'll do this last lemon. Lemon's important. I might even put some more ketchup in there, which was really the the weird secret I learned working in a seafood restaurant all the Mexicans used to make ceviche and shrimp cocktails and stuff and blew me away when they just threw a bunch of ketchup in it but it works so I stuck with it I've never made it like this though before alright did I put the ketchup on right let's uh I'm gonna put some more in there important alright spin utensils So we got all the ingredients in there, right? Let's see if we can make this make this happen here. Mm. All right, there we go. Okay. Starting to come together. Grilled scallops, grilled shrimp, and grilled corn, Mexican style seafood cocktail. Smells pretty good. I'm gonna put a little more tomatillo in there. Give it some dimension. Those are kind of sweet, actually, too. Once you boil them up. All right. That looks good. Slice an avocado real quick here. Well, you know how to take seed, all right? Boom, just like that. Boom, just like that. If you only want half. <laughs> This one was split already, but uh, there's other ways around it. I like to, uh, I'm going to use this one though, because it still looks pretty. Take it like this. Right. 
take this. Some shrimp, scallops, everything in there. It looks beautiful. Alright, bring that here. Let's get the spoon back in there. Really. Spoon, we'll do this. Pretty, pretty. Alright. Throw some uh, more cilantro around here. A little for garnish. Maybe a little around the edges. I don't know. And then, uh, well, my homemade chips. These things are great. These are the best chips you'll ever have. Serve them like this. Boom. And some around the bottom. Cool. And then, uh, don't forget one thing. One of the garnish. Oh. A lemon slice. Well, you could have saved a little lemon, but you know what? You don't need it. There's enough in the cocktail already. Let's try this out. This is looking pretty good. Let's get ourselves some uh, nice, whew, big old shrimp on there. A little bit of avocado. All right. Mm -hmm. Who needs to measure? Yeah, eyeball it. Mmm. Sweet. A little spicy. Homemade chips. Shit's the bomb. I am the next master chef.